My name is Kyu Yamamoto. I am from, originally from Japan. I went to the f high school, which is a fine art high school, studied the drawing, painting, and design, and sculpture. And then I attended the uh, Aichi Prefecture Fine Art University. My major was sculpture. I studied uh, sculpture many, many, many years. I lived in this country about 20 years. And uh, this is Florida. We live here. And, uh, but I used to live in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, country music town and I was uh, working at the the project called Athena Parthenos which is we create a 42 foot Athena statue inside the Parthenon which is the exact same replica of the Greek temple Parthenon. It, it was built 18 I think 1876 and then we create uh, starting 19 80, I think 84, it took 80 years to complete. I was the last four years as the assistant sculptor for the finished project. I'm a teacher, also the instructor, uh, the doing uh, teaching at the local community center or the local art center, St. Petersburg, Florida. And before I moved here, I also teach sculpture in Nashville, Tennessee. And I've been teaching in Florida about 10, 12 years and uh, teaching sculpture and drawing. It's very interesting in the experience because the teaching is, how do I say it? I always tell a student, I'm not a teacher, I'm not an instructor, I'm just helping. Because my teaching method is completely uh, different compared to other instructors because basically I do in asking a lot of questions to student, And I never ever told student what to do because I really believe individually has a different opinion, different idea. If we have the hundred students, you have a hundred different ways to approach art. I respect that. You know, when you create art, people think only create art in the studio or using clay or using pencil. My idea is 24 hours a day you create. You don't have to have the actual piece. You don't have the actual painting or uh, pencil or the paper. You create in here. Watch the people. You can have something great idea and then you just go into the movie or the dinner and you can find out something completely different idea. That's art. It's not only create in the studio. That's hugely different. And that's what I'm doing will help them to understand what is the process of creating. Creativity, mm, I think the, I don't know, as I said, the creative is everything from you. That's what I really believe. So whatever you create, I think nothing is in right or wrong. I think that's a mirror, like can reflect you and if you really sad that time when you create, probably the piece is something and sadness showing. If you're really happy, maybe that you know reflect your happiness. If you really anger, showing something that. So when I create, when I do something, more my important thing is what I feel here. You know, that's really interesting because one, my mentor, the, uh, the, my doctor Shibata, she, you know, he was the uh, high school teacher. He told me so many sculptures. He always asked me, Q, why do you make sculpture? And, uh, you know, that time high school, I don't know. <laughs> but now I really feel always asking myself, why am I doing this? If I don't feel, I don't have to. I don't want to please anybody. I want to please myself. And uh, pe pe people said, if you please yourself, that's kind of selfish. But you know, art is self self-centered, selfish stuff, because that's showing your emotional, right? So that's that's the art. That's I was teaching in, in a student. You have to feel something. 
and whatever you create, the design, painting, sculpting, you know, textile, sweater or something, if you feel something, that's you, that's art, that's creativity. And I'm watching a movie, and when I see some people, the face was really attracted, and I keep it in my memory, or sometimes when I go to dinner together, and I do people watch a lot. And sitting and how they eat? That's very interesting movement. Something like that. And even when I'm teaching, I you know, looking at the student how standing front of sculpture stand. And some people are really interesting moving like standing like this one. Some people really stiff like this. That's great. That's what's really interesting for me to creativity. I can do something, change it, do something different with approach. That's when I do the create uh, the critique. I, when I have the ten student for the critique itself. So I always ask, please one thing. You really like your sculpture or the painting and drawing. Positive thing, least one. Then I studying in okay, you like sculpture's eye or nose and the movement and then starting that's great. Then starting how about next this one? Then if you have a really good good energy here, one thing to find out and starting bring and big, getting bigger and bigger. I know we had always a negative putting down people say that, but if negative here, which might have, have a power? You want to have negative power or positive power? I'd rather have this one and take this over, then everything good thing. I have so many students and so, you know, people just telling, oh Q, I cannot do this, I cannot do this, to do this. Yes, if you believe you cannot do it, you can't. But only change the switch. Different switch here. Yes, I can do it. It maybe takes a longer, but eventually you can do it. When I was born, I want to be sculpt. I want to be artist because when I, my family was very poor, and my mother was working at the dry cleaning factory, and she. I remember I was probably two, three years old, and I was sitting next to my, my mom, and she was steaming iron all the time. I'm just sitting there and. The, but we don't have any money to do any, no toy. So she gave me the paper, a newspaper, whatever, the pencil. I was just drawing. 24 hours a day, every day, next to my mom, just drawing like this. Probably that time and I just want to create something. Elementary school, I want to be tap dancer. <laughs> but I know I couldn't dance, I mean, the, I don't know how to, that's why I enjoy the kind of stuff. And then junior high school, and I have no idea what I'm going to be, and uh, my art teacher told me, well, you probably you're good, so why don't you attend and uh, focus on going to a uh, fine art high school. So she teach me, and uh, he teach me how to draw kind of stuff, and then fortunately, that's great. I was passed exam and I attended the uh, fine art high school. Then I met my mentor and he was sculptor and then I love his sculpture. I love how he did and I, I fall in love. Then I want to be like him. Probably that's the reason I want to be sculptor and artist. But one of my favorite story for the art and um, the Sen no Rikyu, who is the, the Zen and tea master, tea ceremony master, he created the tea ceremony and he was excellent, excellent tea master. And uh, one of the, my favorite story is that time the Shogun asked the Rikyu, he said, I want to see cherry blossom, that is in the spring time. So Rikyu asked his apprentice cut off the, all the cherry blossom outside. And the apprentice was, why we do that? Because Shogun wants to see the, all the cherry blossom. And Rikyu didn't say anything. Just do it. And the Shogun came and he looked all the before and entered the inner tea ceremony room and he was so angry because I told I want to see cherry blossom and he couldn't see anything. So he went to the tea ceremony room, 
And I don't know, he said, we had a very small room, and the Rikyu was sit there, and Shogun get in, and Shogun saw it like a back of the wall. He had a very simple, uh, the Ikebana base, flower base, and the one branch of cherry blossom flower was there, and the, a little bit in pebble on the water, just one. And Shogun was crying. That, for me, that, that's a Japanese art. Just, just, if you don't need hundred beauty. Just one thing make you happy, it show you more everything, everything you, you need to see. And I will get inspiration from everywhere. Just I, I told that's the watching movie, reading book, people watching, eating dinner, eating cookies. <laughs> And everywhere, I just try to put in, I have something funny in here, to just keep in something a little bit. No, I'm getting old, that's, you know, sometimes forget it. <laughs> but that's, I really do. For example, I'm watching an outside in a tree, and sometimes wind flow, and how the tree movement, leaf movement, it's really helping to understand the movement. And if I have the um, inspiration or something, I always sketch, draw on paper, and uh, show the, some idea on the paper. And that's really helped me to understand what's the next step. And then processes, you know, sketching and then clay, added clay. Sometimes it takes weeks, weeks, two weeks, three weeks is done. Sometimes I just take two hours. But m my process, if I really get into, Emotionally, spiritually, most, most of the time, spiritually, if I, I believe there is spirit and energy in here, if I really get into the spiritually connected, I would tell the student like a communication. Meaning my sculpture and the artist always have the communication. If we have to communicate constantly, it's very smooth communication like this. It's instant. I can do that two hours, three hours. But sometimes it takes a longer. If it takes a longer, it's starting losing and the passion and some communications. So sometimes I just won't do anything, and coming back, okay, then refresh everything and start over again. I always telling you know student, listen to yourself. If you start listen, you already know the answer. I just sort of guidance, okay. Hello, what do you say? And you start under, understand what you're saying. And then, okay, oh, I know that. Then if you find the answer, basically it's simple, simple to fix. Be honest yourself. I think that's very important. Um, don't pretend who you are. It doesn't matter and, uh, you know, what other people think. Don't pretend and you, know, you know. Don't make art because other people like it. No, I, I, I don't know. Some people do, but for me it's because reason I create because I want to create this one. I don't, I don't make sculpture. I don't paint because please other people. No, because that's I want it, and I always want to be honest, face to my art, my creativity. Some pieces I don't like it, so what? And I made a mistake, I learn from a mistake. If I don't like it, many times after the fire, after think, oh, why did I make it like this? Of course, you know, so many artists feel that way, but for me, it's, it's okay, it's a process to learning. Well, next time I can do better, you know, I made a mistake, so I learn from the mistake. So, but if you pretend it's okay, I think you become blind, cannot see anything. So, I just want to share, be doesn't matter you artist or not, because we are human, and I love human, because that's the reason I create all the human body. As a human, I love human, then also I want to be honest to myself, and also honest to other people too. And that's, I think that's really good for our communication and also our starting feeling each other. 
if you don't hide anything, it's great. And the whole world becomes peace, I believe.